Now about two weeks ago or so, my screen on my phone broke when it fell out of my pocket. It fell out of my pocket at a fairly um, close to the floor um, distance and uh, it shattered pretty hideously and um, it was uh, it was sad and I was also sad because I didn't buy the insurance that would have um, gotten it fixed I think for free but actually I think there's a deductible on it that was more like um, um, just buying the parts myself and doing it which is ultimately what I did um, I used a heat gun it's a hair dryer to um, soften the adhesive around the edge of the screen there's also on this original screen an adhesive but on the replacement screen there was no adhesive on anything so there's actually an air gap underneath the screen here and uh, I also made a choice when I ordered it uh, instead of buying a blue one like this one originally was I ordered a red one so now it is red on the front and it is blue on the back and I might even get a different color very you know, removable back which would make red on this and then blue on the uh, side here and then a different color on the back so I don't know something to think about anyway so basically what I did was I used the uh, hair dryer to heat the adhesive up and then I used the straight screwdriver I bought a little kit of uh, repair tools and jammed the screwdriver in between got it started and then started in with this guitar pick that came with the kit of tools and then I finally found a good use for my Circuit City gift card to uh, get in and get all the way in around uh, the adhesive that was in the middle there. I tried using this um, suction cup to just pull it up but that wasn't going to work. Uh, and then once I got it off I had to remove the adhesive from the digitizer which um, is, is uh, right in this area here and that is where the touch matrix is as well. And so uh, once I had that all cleaned off then I used rubbing alcohol and a couple of different microfiber cloths to remove uh, any of the markings. I did just notice though that I seem to have some fingerprints on the underside right here so everybody will know that this is my phone for the fingerprints on the inside of the glass. And, um, and so now it is working happily. Um, so that's kind of neat and um, also uh, there's a couple of buttons right here uh, that are attached to the glass of the screen and uh, those are both working properly. Uh, when I went to put it back on I noticed that there was a little something right here so before I really attached it down by heating up the adhesive again and really pushing on it good I um, just lifted it up a little bit and cleared that. There was a little string of adhesive across the, the camera lens there and I thought that might not be so fun if that was there. And uh, so it was pretty simple and straightforward. The replacement screen came with no information but basically I looked around online and I found a whole bunch of information. Uh, some of it is um, kind of odd where people are experimenting with how to break the Gorilla Glass and uh, others are um, going through various ex experiments of how to how to take it apart and how uh, disassembly of the uh, of the phone all the way down to its barest components which I thought was kind of neat too. Um, and so it was a neat project pretty straightforward for um, tools. I needed these little pry tools and screwdrivers and stuff like that. Uh, I used the suction cup to put it back together again. Um, guitar pick, um, Circuit City gift card. Definitely when you're working with glass, wearing safety glasses is a good idea. I used um, tape on the back side of it 
to attach it to this piece of cardboard, which is actually the cardboard that the screen shipped on. And I taped it down, put a circle of tape here and a circle of tape here. That made it a little bit easier to handle. Uh, rubbing alcohol was good for cleaning off the glass and um, microfiber cloths. It was a relatively easy thing. I took longer than I probably needed to, uh, and it took me about two hours. If I need to do it again, I could definitely do it in under an hour. Uh, I've heard that sometimes it can be even done quicker than that. So uh, pretty straightforward, easy project. I'd, uh, I'd do it again. Hopefully I won't have to do it again for my own phone but it was definitely uh, a neat thing to do. And so if you need to replace your screen, you should not feel bad about having to replace your screen because it was actually kind of a fun thing to do.